Welcome back to the Metronome Madness League. We have the 60 Sleepers going up against the Flaming Freak Shows for round number seven, starting in our next division. The Freak Shows have their... Um, I always forget the name of this Pokemon. Jeez. <laughs> they have their Dragapult on the field. And then we have, of course, the Gumi or Gudra on the field for the Sleepers. The Gust is going to be the first move that we see out on play. Gudra takes a little bit of damage from that. Not a whole lot. Not the best move to use. However, Force Palm was even worse to use against the Ghost-type Pokemon, giving the Freak Shells a free turn right here. Wasted turn by the Sleepers. There goes the Payday. Payday. Scattering coins everywhere, doing a little bit of damage to the Gudra again. Looks like the Freak Shells are going to... Focus on chipping away at the health rather than trying to go for risky, strong moves. And another move fails from the Sleepers. Not a good look. They have not started off well in this battle. There goes the Skull Bash. It's going to lower its head, raising its defenses as well. Ready for an attack. Guja's going to have to watch out for that. Will they finally land a hit is the question. There goes the Rock Polish. No, they're going to make themselves faster. And they might actually end up being faster than the Dragapult. We'll see if it works out for them in the future. Here we go. Gudra. Now is faster. It's going to go for the charge beam. It is resisted, but we'll get that special attack boost. So it doesn't do a lot of damage, but maybe worth it because of the special attack boost that it gains. There goes that Skull Bash doing a whole lot of damage. Gudra takes a big hit. Gudra tried to slow it down with uh, it's gooey, but it doesn't work on the clear body Dragapult. Here we go. Gudra now with a knockoff. Going to get rid of the item that Dragapult's holding. It's super effective as well. Dragapult at half health. That's a move they wanted to use. Now it will no longer power up, power up its ghost type moves, which could have been dangerous. There goes the water gun. Water gun not very effective to the Gudra. Gudra only at 35 HP now. There we go. There goes the Noble Roar. Again, trying to lower those stats is the wrong way to go against this Pokemon. The clear body nullifies it. And now, another free turn for the Freak Shows. They go for a Cotton Guard. So it looks like they're going to focus on setting up. If you're enjoying the battle, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button and the notification bell so you know when new battles go up. And of course, I always want to thank my patrons for supporting me and the channel. We will jump right back into this battle as Dragapult goes on an offensive with a Drill Peck. Drill Peck doing the damage. Gudra goes down. First Pokemon lost to the Sleepers. Sleepers going to move on to the High Dragon. High Dragon's going to come out on the field. A lot of dragons in this battle. go Dragapult moving first again this time it goes for the supersonic it's avoided my dragon does not want to be confused it's going to go for its own attack and it goes for multi-attack doesn't affect the Dragapult uh, once again that ghost typing getting in the way of what the sleepers want to do and they haven't really been able to land good hits they had about one against the Dragon Ball. There goes the Bug Buzz. That will be super effective against the Dark Type. Half its health done already. This is not looking good for the Sleepers. They're getting pummeled by this Dragapult. Continuously trying to lower its stats, and they just can't do it. Because of its ability, they've got to change their strategy. There we go. Dragapult now with an Encore. Of course, that fails in the Metronome Battles. They always will use the same move. There goes the Grass Knot. Grass Knot not very effective, but more damage than you think it would do to the Dragapult. Getting closer to the red. The Sleepers really have to come up with a good strategy here, or they're going to be in a world of trouble. Here comes the Dragapult with Confusion. Doesn't affect High Dragon. Good job. There goes the High Dragon now with a Skitter Smack. Now that's resisted. So it doesn't do a lot of damage to Dragapult. 
Drag Claw again. Time's gonna go for a double kick. That's another super effective move. Freak Show's on top of it today. It was a critical hit on the second. Hydreigon down to three HP already. The Sleepers pretty much only have one Pokemon left. Unless they can get Hydreigon to heal itself. They're gonna go for the Ancient Power. They could get a boost, but I don't know how useful it will be with three HP left on Hydreigon. Dragapult finally down to the last bit of its health as well. And here we go, Dragapult goes for the side strike. It doesn't affect the Hydreigon. Free move for the Sleepers. And it goes for an Endeavor. That doesn't work because they both have low HP and Hydreigon has less HP than the Dragapult. Is that why it doesn't work? I, I forget how Endeavor works exactly. I think you uh, lower their HP down to yours or something like that. There goes uh, Hy uh, excuse me, Hydreigon once again. It goes for Glare. That will paralyze the Dragapult. If this was earlier in their match with them having more HP, I would say that was a good move. But right now, what point does the paralysis do? You could have just knocked it out. There we go. Hydreigon will go first now. That Dragapult is paralyzed. And it's going to go for Metal Sound again with trying to lower its stats. <laughs> no. Just didn't work out. And, of course, Dragapult is fully paralyzed so nothing happens in that turn i drag in with another chance it has to stop wasting its pp this time it goes for a vine whip that might actually knock it out even though it's resisted no it doesn't dragapult still has enough hp to live and this time it goes for a morning sun it's gonna heal itself dragapult just won't go down Back in the green, thanks to the morning sun, and Hydreigon looks all but defeated. Does get to go first this time, but knocking it out is probably not going to happen. There goes a sparkling Aria. And that is resisted. Does a good amount of damage, but not enough, especially since Dragapult has healed itself. Now it gets to go for an Aura Sphere. That's another super effective move. Not that it needed to be. But it's just throwing salt in the wound as it knocks out that Hydreigon. Melmetal, the last Pokemon on the Sleepers, has a large uphill battle to fight as it has to defeat three Pokemon. Hydreigon, or excuse me, Dragapult has about a third of its HP left, and there are two full health Pokemon left on the Freak Shows. Here we go, Dragapult going first with a Memento is gonna knock itself out. And actually, this is one of the few times you'll see that being worth it for the Freak Shows. They don't need the Dragapult anymore, it has low PP. They're gonna go ahead and sacrifice it to lower the stats on that Melmetal, making it even more difficult for Melmetal to knock out the other two Pokemon on the Freak Shows. Marshadow is going to come out on the field for the Freak Shows. We have the Mel Metal versus Marshadow. Marshadow going to go ahead. And this time it goes for a Roar of Time. I believe that's resisted by the Skill Type Pokemon. Yes. Not a lot of damage done. Here we go. The Whirlwind from the Mel Metal. Oh, it's going to force the Marshadow out. Doesn't want to fight it. And now it's going up against Suicune. Suicune, of course, exerting its pressure. I think the Sleepers want to get rid of Suicune as soon as possible because of that ability. Because reducing Melmetal's PP is not where what they want to do, especially since what they uh, they have to go up against two Pokemon. The Flame Will super effective against Melmetal. It's going to retaliate this time. It goes for a Hex. Hex is going to do very little damage. Better if you had a status move against the Pokemon already. There goes the Crush Grip. That will be resisted as well. It's a strong move, though. And it barely does anything. So the Steel Typing definitely helping the Sleepers in this match right now. See if it can help them hang on. The Confuse Ray going out. I get the point of using Confuse Ray here. It usually wouldn't be a bad move, but going up against pressure 
I wonder if the status moves are a waste, because remember, that used two PP just to confuse it. So we can breaks through the confusion so it doesn't hit itself. And it's gonna go, oh, with its own Confuse Ray. So now both Pokemon are confused. Melmetal has to break through, goes for, oh, it hits itself in confusion. So the worst thing possible has happened to the sleepers. As Suicune has to break through, it hits itself. So everybody's just slapping themselves instead of fighting each other. Will Melmetal break through? This time it does. It gets to use Metronome and it goes for a Mind Reader. A wasted turn. Wasted two turns, really. Any wasted moves is horrible going up against a Pokemon with pressure. Here we go, Suicune. This time does not hit itself. And it goes for Curse. It's going to lower its speed and raise some more of its other stats. Melmetal still confused. Doesn't hit itself. It breaks through. Goes for the Brick Break. At least it lands a hit. The Brick Break not doing much at all. It would have been better if um, the free shows had set up before you used it, but you can't really plan for that. And there's a circle throw. That's avoided. Good job avoiding the attack by the Mel Metal. And it hits itself again. At least it doesn't waste PP, I guess. Suicune. Now on the offensive. No longer confused. Goes for a pound. That's not very effective. Mel Metal. Withstanding the hits, but it's in the yellow, and it has that Marsh Shadow to go up against as well. It's not impossible, but it will be difficult. Steamroller doesn't work out. And Suicune. It's going to go ahead with the Stuffed Cheeks. That doesn't work. That's, there was no berry, so Mel Metal gets to go for a small. That's avoided. It misses again. Melmetal just not having the best of luck out here. And Suicune just takes over the battle. The Lava Plume's going to be huge and super effective. And it hits hard. Melmetal at 17 HP. There goes the berry for the Melmetal. Hoping to improve his attacks as it goes on. Leafage is super effective, but it's a weak move. Hits hard. Critical hit after it ate that berry. That's what it needed, but it's going to need some more health. Here comes the Suicune now. Storm throw. And that might just be it for the Melmetal. It is. Melmetal goes down. Unfortunately, the loss goes to the Sleepers. And the Freak Shells come away with the win. It was an excellent match. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more Metronome Madness League. And, of course, I will catch you in the next one.